you have been in competition with another person. This is not known to you because the person that is considering you, they have not expressed their interest in you at all yet. This person is comparing you to another individual. You and this other person are very similar. Y'all even look alike, okay? They, this other energy is not trying to copy you. You and this person are just very similar. Y'all have some of the same qualities. Y'all look alike even. And this person is trying to decide who he's going to choose. It's for some sort of position. But he admires both of you. Okay? He's, he, I feel as if he was led to this other person but he happened to come across you. And this is why he hasn't given the other person the position yet because he came across you. And now he's considering you. But again, you don't know Emperor was in the bottom of the deck. You don't know who this person is that wants to give you this opportunity, okay? So, Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know about this download that I received, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit. What is the insight and guidance that you would like for us to have at this time? From you, through me, please, and thank you, God. What would you like for us to know about this? Let's do one more shuffle and we're going to see. I hope you all are doing good at this time. Thank you so much for your ongoing support of this platform. And let's go. Knight of Cups. This person wants to give you an offer. But, you know, Knight of Cups can be a, not a slick offer, what well, it can be, but in this case, it's just an offer you don't see coming, okay? A Knight of Cups can be an offer that you don't see coming. But this person wants to make you the offer. They're leaning towards you. They're leaning towards choosing you, okay? That's what I'm getting. They've been debating about it for a while, but it's something undeniable about you that I feel this other person knows about. See the other, the other, the other contestant, I'm gonna call y'all contestants, child, because I'm telling you, y'all, y'all are up for a competition that I feel this other person knows about. Cause I'm telling you, whoever this authority figure is that's making this decision, someone brought the other contestant to him. So she's aware, okay? And she's been working hard to get that position. She could have Leo in her chart, Queen of Swords. This is her energy, okay? She's been in the Nine of Wands strength with the Queen of Wands trying to prove to this masculine that she's the ideal choice, okay? But like I said, he just happened to come across you, Divine Feminine, Two of Wands, when he was planning whatever this is that he's working on, whatever transition that he is developing, whether it's in business, whatever it is, he's trying to choose between you and this queen of swords. And he happened to come across you in him making preparations for whatever this, this is, okay? So... Like I said, you don't even know that he is considering you for this. You don't know. I feel like whatever you bring to the table, Empress, Divine Feminine, it's it's worth him reconsidering who he gives this offer to, 444 on the clock, and he knows that. I feel like this man has made a decision, though. I do, with this world card. In the beginning, I feel like he's about to give this offer to you. 
And I was really trying to not pick up nothing crazy off this strength with the Queen of Wands, but I am with this moon energy here and this Seven of Swords, because I'm telling you, she didn't put in some work, okay? She didn't put in some work to make sure that this man took action with her. So whoever re referred her to him, they know how beneficial it is, whatever this is that y'all are competing for, okay? And I feel like she's been receiving assistance to show up and show out for this Knight of Cups offer. She's even tried to possibly manipulate this man's decision, Five of Wands. There's definitely some sort of community that's backing her as the choice. They want this man to choose her. They don't want this man to choose this random woman that he didn't came across, possibly on the World Wide Web because the guy on the Two of Wands is holding a globe. So they've, they've tried to create conflict around the choice that he makes. They've tried to possibly even create conflict for you because this man didn't mention to this Queen of Swords who his competition was, but he's mentioned to this other community of energies who's waiting on him to decide on someone. He's mentioned to them that the reason why he ain't went with this strength Queen of Swords is because he didn't came across you. Okay, so there are people in this community who know about this opportunity, who know that he is considering you and they tried to create some drama for you. They have Ace of Pentacles with the tower. They know that this opportunity is coming towards you potentially, that you're up for, you're up for it. And they tried to put your ass in the tower because of it. You don't even know. Like I said, you don't even know that you are coming. You are up for this Ace of Pentacles here. But this community does. And I feel like someone may have even informed this Queen of Swords Leo that you were up for the opportunity as well. Because the tower is falling right up under the strength card. So it was a major blow when she realized all of this effort and work she was putting into being chosen was being deterred by the presence of you, okay? Was this Queen of Swords, Leo, participating in any of this drama against this Empress Holy Spirit? I think she was, y'all. Wheel of Fortune. She was trying to cause a change and a turning point in the situation. She didn't want you to get it. She didn't work too hard. She didn't invest it too much. This woman coming out as a wounded warrior. So I don't know what type of challenges she got put through to prove that she was worthy. But you ain't have had to go through everything this woman had to go through. I'm telling you right now. She didn't have to truly prove herself, but this is why he is so fixated on you because you ain't had to do nothing to prove yourself. You were sitting in your true, authentic, divine, feminine energy, okay? Minding your business. You don't even know that this is happening. You don't even know that, again, you're being considered for something and you're still shining. You're still outshining this Leo Queen of Swords is it's no doubt. Like I said, you're undeniable. That's why I feel this man is about to give you the offer. Judgment. I'm telling you, he about to give you the offer. He has decided on this Empress here. No matter what these community members do no matter what this queen of swords leo may have even done because she didn't did something what did she do she did something with these people holy spirit clarify please and thank you justice with the knight of swords with the ace of cups 
She wanted to receive this blessing. This, oh, excuse me, spiritual belt, spiritual confirmation. She wanted to receive this blessing, this opportunity. She wanted the scales balanced in her favor. So she did take some action to the cause destruction in this Empress's life. Now, why I just heard, because because I'm going to tell you who this Ace of Cups and this Ace of Pentacles is representing. It's representing this divine masculine, this, this authority figure that I'm picking up on. He could have Libra somewhere prominently in his chart. Because judgment is his energy and justice is also in reference to how she wanted to balance things with him in her favor. You know, he holding the scale in this situation. And she know that. But I feel like this man may have also know what this Queen of Swords and this community did, 1101, against this Divine Feminine because he was considering her. Okay? They shot themselves in the foot. Hangman, 1111, Three of Pentacles. A light has been shined down on whoever this Judgment Energy collaborates with, whoever... In this group that collaborates with this Queen of Swords, all of them been shot in the damn. They shot themselves in the damn foot. I'm for real. That's what I heard. Because the fact that they were trying to cause some sort of melee and treachery in your life because of his interest in you, that shows something to this judgment justice energy about this Queen of Swords character. And this community of folks that he was associated with, it showed him something about their character as well. And this is why he's going to make the offer to you. And this is why you're going to have the victory. You're going to be the victor and you're going to be chosen. Okay. Because he sees your innocence. He sees how. From afar, unbeknownst to you, you still was outshining this other person. And then instead of her maybe even going a little bit harder to prove that she, if nothing else, had the determination and the consistency, the tenacity. See, I feel like that's why she was also in the running with this strength in Nine of Wands energy. Because that can signify somebody who is stressed out who's who's up under some mental tur turmoil. But that also can represent someone who is really determined, hell-bent on not giving up, on not backing down, okay? And I feel like that was initially her vibe as far as proving her worth to this man, her worthiness. But then that energy shifted into trying to stop you, trying to make you look bad somehow, cause you to be in the tower. And that's where she fucked up at. I'm telling you. It could have went another way here. Eight of Swords with the Four of Swords. It could have went another way, but she restricted herself with her behavior against a total stranger who did not even know what was going on. That, that really has truly shown your character. Okay, and it's really highlighted, made this man reflect about this Queen of Swords character, this community's character. He went back to the drawing board when he found out how these people were trying to have you in the Eight of Swords. He went back to the drawing board now, 1414. Whenever she, that was the turning point in his decision making. Eight of Swords is falling right up under the Wheel of Fortune, which is falling right up under her energy. When this Queen of Swords decided that she wanted to start coming for you to eliminate you somehow so she could be chosen, that's what caused things to change in the situation. And that is what, what propelled this man to truly reflect on who he was doing business with and who he wanted to do business with in the future. And it's you. This, this Queen of Swords, Leo energy is aware of that. I don't feel like 
the official decision has been announced. I just heard, so I don't know what this is. You don't either. You don't either. This is going to be a surprise to you when this judgment justice energy gets in contact with you and lets you know what they've been considering you for, okay? But she knows she lost. She and the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Wands. She knows that he is aware of how she tried to trip you up, so to speak. She knows that he is aware of how this community that referred her tried to trip you up. So it's like, I'm really getting something like all these people that got dropped. Anybody that was associated with her and her, he ain't fucking with them like that no more. And he is about to offer you a Ten of Pentacles partnership. You are about to become a Queen of Pentacles. You can have Taurus somewhere significantly in your chart. You and this person are about to celebrate together. Y'all going to toast to this new opportunity that you're about to be awarded. Okay? And again, this is unbeknownst to you, baby. You could possibly have Pisces in your chart, but it's something about your intuition here. It's something about your intuition here because the Knight of Wands is coming out right behind the High Priestess. Maybe this was a competition about intuition. Maybe this was a, a comparison of mediums and their ability to channel. Because this man been watching you on the World Wide Web. Clarify, Holy Spirit, because the Knight of Wands talks about your intuit, Queen of Cups. So you are, you do have Pisces in your chart. You are very intuitive. Psychic. You psychic. Okay? You a little bit more than intuitive. Whoever I'm picking up on, you are a high priestess. Knight of Wands. Okay? So you're you're on the you're on the precipice of mediumship for show. So there may have been a competition regarding spiritual abilities here. And there are a lot of platforms now where people are able to express their spiritual ideas, their practices, their principles, what they adhere to, what they believe in, okay? And I'm picking up something like whatever this King of Swords was going to use you or this Queen of Swords for, it has something to do with spirituality. It has something to do with you being psychic, you having mediumship abilities. Psychic and mediumship, I'm hearing them two things specifically. So you possibly were channeling, doing something and being monitored and you didn't even realize that you were being monitored by this king of swords here. Let me try to get some clarity. Love wins. Your love and light. Then one, you this, this position. This partnership. So this Leo queen of swords energy. She must be some sort of spiritual energy as well, some sort of possibly spiritual advisor. And people re re recommended her to him. But he came across you organically and what he saw in you compared to what he saw in her, you know, it, it just, it's no question who the true high priestess Knight of Wands energy is. Well, for him, I'm not saying that this Queen of Swords don't have intuitive abilities, but she wasn't showing up and showing out like you are. That's what I'm hearing. So let's just see what comes out. Can we get some clarity, Holy Spirit, from the I Be Knowing Oracle deck about this, please? And thank you, clarity, please, Holy Spirit, from the I Be Knowing Oracle deck. Sad. 
this queen of swords is sad because people were trying to push her up to this king of swords like they was going to be some type of power couple like they was about going to be out here making moves using her spirituality her spiritual abilities because they coming out as each other's match now i'm telling you he had pretty much decided that he was going to go with her until he came across you She want this man to forgive her for what she did against you. He has found out that these people tried to five of wands, eight of swords, you and have you in the tower. And that is what really cut her out of the running. Her, her treacherous behavior is treachery. It's treacherous. It's all hell. When you are trying to destroy the life of a person you don't even know, who don't even know you exist because of a potential professional opportunity, that's treacherous. And she wants this King of Swords to forgive her, but she, her energy stank. Her soul, her spirit, her mindset stank. He's seen that shit. 2121, based off of the actions that she participated in now i didn't want to try to put these two people together romantically like in him working with her initially getting to know her getting to know what she was able to do these people may have well she may have gotten feelings for him because this woman was really 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 trying to knock this queen of pentacles queen of cups empress out of the way so that she could be able to work with this man. So she may have even fallen in love with him. Okay. Clarify, Holy Spirit. They are secretly racist. So. If this Queen of Swords and this Queen of Cups are two different races. This Queen of Swords is racist. And he heard that he found that out about her. It's almost as if he knows she can't be a pure vessel for him to use spiritually because of her racism, of what she did against you. And there's a color difference between you and her for sure, okay? That's also why this community felt like she was a better option. And when they learned that he was considering you, they were trying to destroy you too. They secretly racist. I'm telling you, he finna walk away from whoever put him on to her within that community as well as her. He's hurt that these people worked against you to try to destroy your life out of their secret racism against you. Okay? Cause, so either you it's really giving you black and she white. You know, I'm just going to keep it real. But you were spiritually protected by the universe, by the most high God, from what these people were doing towards you. I'm telling you, these people was fucking with your life. If you have had any issues lately, whether it's gang stalking, you know, being harassed, your mail been stolen noise intimidation you know any type of identity theft these people were really trying to ruin you they were but you were protected from all of their attempts to do so what else holy spirit anything else from the if only you can see the heart you need is in me i'm telling you this queen of swords is tripping not just because he don't want to work with her anymore but because she had then fell in love with this man in getting to know him and potentially work with him. And she, she want him to be on this here. She wants him to see that, she, ooh, excuse me, spiritual confirmation. She wants him to see that she is the ideal choice again. She wants him to see that all he need is her. He don't need you, but it's too late for that. Because what she did against you showed that you are the better choice. You have better character than she does. That she's cryptic. 
because she tried to frame you. They tried to frame you, child. Because this, this Five of Wands, Tower, Eight of Swords just keep popping out to me. And I ain't really want to ask what all they did, but the universe is letting it be known. They tried to frame you. This, this King of Swords know that she tried to frame you. Okay? And favor ain't fair. Okay, you were favored by this King of Swords judgment energy. And that favor brought a level of attack on your life that wasn't fair because you don't know nothing about this situation. You don't know this Queen of Swords. You don't know this King of Swords. You don't know nothing about what they got going on. But your favor caused you to experience this level of unfairness for a time whether you knew where it was coming from or not, okay? This Queen of Swords could have Gemini in her chart. But once again, you were chosen because you remain authentic, faithful, and true to who you are, and your life is proof of how you live. You ain't out here on no crazy shit. You ain't out here trying to destroy nobody's life. You ain't out here trying to set no traps for nobody. You ain't out here trying to slander nobody or stalk them. You're not trying to steal their identity and make it seem as if they're a bad person out here doing bad things. And these people did all of that to you. They, they did all of that shit to you. Okay? Everything I just mentioned, they did it. But none of it worked. And it's a, it's a celebration. Okay, and none of it didn't work because God got your back. Okay, God had you in this situation. You were spiritually protected because these people really came for your neck. So I don't know what this is that you're about to receive, but it is an Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles, and it's going to have you in the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. But I'm telling you, God truly had your back. Because even though favor ain't fair, even though, you know, shit happens to us that we aren't, that isn't warranted, these people was evil. Okay, God just wasn't looking to let these evil people destroy your life for no reason. And you chosen to. Any final messages here from the Oracle deck, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Let him go, girl. That's what this um, Queen of Swords need to do. She need to let it go. Because, I, I, again, I'm trying not to go there, but I am picking up that these two people were romantically involved. If, if, if they haven't been intimate yet, they damn sure was flirting and hanging and kicking and possibly going out to eat for lunch and stuff during the day while they was working and shit. Like... This woman felt like she was in some type of partnership with this man. And now she's single. Okay. So again, we're going to go back to this two of wands. Because I see hidden cameras. And I'm telling you, this man came across you somehow and he was observing you. I was picking up that he was observing you on the internet. But I see this hidden camera. So I'm going to cut the deck, y'all. And let's just clarify. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Let's see what that is. Religious or spiritual. Okay, so spirituality is definitely a factor here. This person was trying to figure out if your abilities were authentic if they were within you not anything that you learned that you acquired from study and knowledge and practice okay you didn't you don't practice a particular method to your spirituality you just are who you are you do what you do and god is in approval of that so it definitely was something about authenticity here as well like maybe this Queen of Swords, she's good at whatever she does spiritually, 
but she wasn't as tapped in as you. The the there's a lot more practice and she she's more of a page of pinnacles, a student, she's learning. It's it it's like you're a master teacher. Okay? It's in you. It's like how you know how to do all of that. How are you able to execute, you know, channel what you do? It, it's a difference. It's a major difference. 3033, you divine, baby. Okay, you might even be giving off a little geisha vibes on top of that. Okay, so it's definitely something different. You hit different. You hit different now. It's it's undeniable. I didn't hurt that three times. So, you know, it it was only a matter of time before he went with you anyway because you just being your true authentic self. That's what did it, baby. I don't know how else to say that, but that's what did it. We have sex magic. God, like, we're going to talk about this little clandestine love affair these two people had for a minute. Because he thought she was special. He thought she was you. What he thought you, who you are is what he thought she was. Maybe even who he thought she could be. Okay? But this woman was doing a lot to get this position. Once she became aware of it, once she knew she was up for it, she was doing a lot to make this King of Swords choose her. This woman did have some sort of intimate interaction with this King of Swords here. That may also be what made him change his mind about her. Because why are you trying to sleep with somebody that you trying to do business with? That you trying to make money moves with? Now, if y'all end up partnering up together and continue to... Be a power couple, that's cool. But I don't feel like that was this King of Swords initial plan for this Queen of Swords. But this woman did some sort of sex magic on him. But love wins is out here again. I'm telling you, whatever manipulation she was trying to do to woo him and destroy you, your love and light has beat, beat her ass, period. Okay? Her energy, her spirituality, her gifts, and her abilities are not as good as yours, okay? And this King of Swords is out of there. He done took flight away from this Queen of Swords and whatever she had going on, okay? Any final messages? He he might have had, he might got to take a flight to come give you this offer. Fifty-one fifty. That shit got that girl going crazy now. That damn sex magic she done did on this man to try to make him desire her. Like for real, it it, it was thirty-three thirty-three too now. When I said that, this woman may have done some sort of sex magic spell on him. I don't think they slept together though. I don't think they slept together. She was trying to get him to sleep with her. She was trying to get him to be enamored by her. She felt like all of these extra things she was doing was going to help him ultimately choose her. But I think he resisted her. I do. She was trying to get him to get in them panties, but she resisted him. Excuse, see, she, he resisted her. I'm telling you, she wanted this man to desire her. She wanted this man to be running behind her even, okay? And he done took flight instead. That's why that magic don't be magic. I'm telling you, I'm not saying that, you know, nobody can't do magic. You shouldn't do magic at all or whatever. I don't care what you do. That's your life. I don't do magic because I ain't got time for that shit to be ricocheting back into my life. No, no other fucking way, Okay? Cause that sh I look I don't know I just I can't sit here and be like do magic do magic if you want to child do God 
okay? God, all the magic you need. God can make all your wishes come true. God can fix any, any situation. He can come up with a resolution. God can help you even be who you trying to be to get what you want. You know, it's like, for me, if I was this queen of swords, I would have been on some, well, God, I know that I'm not the only person who's up for this partnership, this contract, this offer. So God help me exhibit my talents and skills and, and abilities in a way that will help me be chosen. And also God, if I'm not chosen for this opportunity, I know you got something better for me waiting in the wings. You got something else that you felt was more conducive to who I am and what I have to offer. And I'm going to take that L and move forward with my head up high. That that would have been the shit I'd have been on, okay? When this King of Swords made this Pisces my comp competition. But that ain't what she did. She, she went roguish, okay? And again, this Pisces was protected by Archangel Haniel. 444 spiritual protection, God, and now Archangel Haniel is out here for this divine feminine at a distance from this King of Swords. Okay? There's some sort of prophecy over this divine feminine's life, which wasn't going to allow her to be the victim of this community or this Queen of Swords. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? I'm telling you, this Queen of Swords... That we back to this nine of wands with the strength. I guess it do mean that somebody is experiencing mental anguish. Anguish, excuse me. She 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 really stressed out about this. This Queen of Swords. Somebody lying. He know. He know these people. Ain't right. He know that these people may have even tried to come and say something about you to this man. Because, you know, I, I skipped over that hidden camera's energy. But it's, it's quite possible that you were being monitored or surveillance from a distance and you didn't know it just to prove that you had these spiritual talents and abilities. Okay, Divine Feminine? And maybe somebody lied and said that you were a witch or a warlock or a wizard. I'm telling you, you don't practice. You don't you don't got no metaphysical table or a bag. I bet you this Queen of Swords Leo do though. You ain't got no whole books on all of these religious and spiritual practices and principles and theories. That's not how you get your spiritual downloads. That's not how you connect with the spiritual realm. That's not how you're in tune with the Holy Spirit. It ain't got, you don't got none of that shit, but this other person do, okay? And they try to say that you was self-taught, that you were possibly even doing something spiritual to appear as this divine high priestess energy. But that has been refuted because they might have very well had hidden cameras on you. Clarify, gossiping men. These you are being watched. This gossiping men been hitting the table more more here lately than it ever has. You are being watched and discussed by this community who was affiliated with this King of Swords. These people thought your ass was doing some damn politics, some spell work, something to appear the way that you were showing out, showing up. Showing out. You, honey, you were showing out with your spirituality. Undeniable. He know. If these people try to say that you were doing something metaphysical, some sort of necromancy to be spiritual, he know they was lying about that too. I'm telling you, this man want to partner with you. This wedding marriage is giving partnership. He wants to lock in with you. Some sort of contract here. And this Leo was wanting to damn partner and marry this King of Swords one day. I'm telling you now, both y'all energy out here in this deck. That's interesting. Came right out of this Oracle deck. This Leo and this Pisces, who were both 
being considered for a position by this judgment, justice, king of swords here. And he's made his decision. Okay? He didn't get that. Ten of swords on the bottom. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Anything else? Please and thank you. Seven of wands. And he has his guard up to this Leo. Because once again, he knows about her roguish behavior and the challenges that she caused for you. And it has only made this man want to partner with you more. And he holds a higher level of adoration for you because he knows what you unknowingly fought off, resisted, overcame even to remain in this divine feminine energy. You the star, baby. This man might be about to make you into a star. Fool behind that. And I'm dropping the mic. Okay? I hope this message helps someone. But if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. And I'll be back soon with another one, y'all. Peace.